Mr Speaker, many of us in this House will be aware of the deeply distressing audio and images of children separated from their parents in US detention centres. Infants as young as 18 months are being caged Shame. like animals. Shame. Babies of eight months are being left isolated in rooms. Yep. And last night, the former head of US Immigration and Customs Enforcement said he expects hundreds of these children never to be reunited with their parents. Shame. Lost in the system, orphaned by the US government. Is the Prime Minister still intending to roll out the red carpet for Donald Trump? Can I, can I first of all say to the right honourable gentleman, I'm pleased to see him in this chamber to be able to ask his, uh, ask his questions. But on the, on, the very, on the very important issue that he's raised of what we have seen in the United States, the pictures of children being held in what appear to be cages are deeply disturbing. This is wrong. This is uh, not something that we agree with. This is not the United Kingdom's approach. Indeed, indeed, when I was Home Secretary, I ended the routine detention of families with children. We have a long and uh, a special and long enduring relationship, long standing relationship with the United States. And I think it is right there will be a range of issues that I'll be discussing with President Trump, uh, a range of issues about our shared interests. And I think it's important that we welcome, the, uh, we make sure that when we uh, see the President of uh, the United States, here in the United Kingdom, we are able to have those discussions that means that when we disagree with what they are doing, we say so. If I can summarise what we have just heard, President Trump has locked up 2,000 little children in cages and is refusing to release them unless he is allowed to build a wall. He has quit the UN Human Rights Council, praised Kim Jong-un's treatment of his own people, turned away Muslims. What does this man have to do to have the invitation she has extended revoked? I, uh, as I said, order, 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 the order. The honourable gen order. The honourable gentleman's question was heard with courtesy. Order, and the reply must be heard with courtesy. The prime minister. First of all, as I've just responded to questions on the, on the issue of the pictures that we have seen of the behaviour in the United States and the way that children are being treated, which I've clearly and wholly unequivocally said is wrong. Now, on the wider issue of the President of the United States coming here to the United Kingdom, uh, there are many issues on which members of this House, including his right honourable friend, the Leader of the Opposition, consistently encourage me to raise with the President of the United States. We do that when we disagree with the United States, we tell them so. But we also have, we also have some key shared interests with the United States in the security and defence field and in other areas as well. And it is right that we are able to sit down and discuss those with the President, a President of a, of a country with which we have had a long-standing and will continue to have a long-standing special relationship. Mr Nigel Mills.